I can't resist. I can't resist. I can't resist. I can't resist. A boy in a uniform. A boy in a uniform. A soldier, handsome and brave. When I am kissed. When I am kissed. When I am kissed. I must insist that I be kissed. By a boy in a uniform, a boy in a uniform, and he can make me his slave. Look at that manly figure, he's always so well dressed. His strong physique makes me feel so weak. Look at that caveman chest, I can't resist, I can't resist. I can't resist, I can't resist, I can't resist. A boy in a uniform, a boy in a uniform, a handsome soldier just like you. She abused me, which of course means she's crazy about me. The way she keeps running after me. Oh well. I might as well give in. I just simply can't escape her desire to love me. I can't resist. 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 A boy in a uniform. A boy in a uniform. A handsome soldier just like you. Every other girl that ever kissed me thought I was a square. The way the act went over tonight, well, well, it was the biggest thrill I ever had. Didn't you get a thrill, too? Yeah. Every other girl that ever kissed me thought I was a square. I'm happy you said that before. Oh, yeah. Well, aren't you happy the act went over? Oh, sure, Betsy. And, and I want to thank you for having confidence in me. You see, when my partner Chick went in the paratroopers, I never thought I'd be able to do an act without him. Well, you're doing a darn good one. Well, you're pretty... Oh, I'm in it, Hap, but you're the act. No. We're a team. And I'd like us to be a team. I mean, all the time. And, well, Betsy, I, I was wondering if maybe tonight we could No, go... Hap. We do a swell act on stage. Let's just keep it that way, huh? The army turned me down because I have a bum ear. But I heard you say no. You know something, Hap? You're just about the nicest boy I know. Here, here, Betsy. Here's your agent. I get 10% of that. <laughs> oh, fine thing. I don't suppose you have anything for us. Yeah, I sure do. Earl White likes you, and he wants to see us at 11.30 Wednesday. Earl White? Yeah. Oh, Sam, that's wonderful. Isn't it, Hap? Yeah. That, that means Broadway. Yes. <laughs> the big time. Yes. Sit down, Sam. You sit here, Betsy. I, I can see it all now. It's opening night, and everyone's all seated in their seats, and they're all dressed up, too, waiting. And then the conductor comes out to start the show. He smiles at the audience and looks around, and he gets ready. <laughs> music, and the MC is introduced, and he comes out. Hello there, folks. We're starting our show. I'm sorry I'm a little late, but on the way over to the theater, a panhandler stopped me in the street and said, Buddy, give me a dime, will you? And hurry up. I said, Why hurry up? He says, I'm double parked. <laughs> Anyhow, we'd like to start the show, folks. We'd like to start that beautiful Chanteuse, the very lovely Mademoiselle Sally Satin. Here she comes. <laughs> I am in the mood for a love simply because you're near me. Finally, but when you're near me, 
I'm in the mood. And then after that, and then the MC comes out again. He says, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to introduce those two wonderful entertainers. And here they are. Betsy Carver and Hat Smith. And we come out, Betsy, see? And we're on the stage, Betsy. The both of us are out there, see? Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. I'm too tired. <laughs> Where you been? You missed the whole show. Telegram for Hap Smith. Oh, that's me. Oh, certainly the tip. <laughs> Anybody got change of a dime? Okay, keep the whole thing. Thank you, mister. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Excuse me. I would have brought you a sandwich. What is it, Hap? Yeah, what does this mean? I'm sorry. I can't explain. Where are you going? Even I don't know. Patriotic mission. Secrecy essential. It'd be easier to see if you took those glasses off. Oh, I, I beg your pardon. Chum. I'm your chum. You're my friend. Through thick and through thin. Hey, just like old times, yeah. huh? Yeah. <laughs> sit down. You sit over there. Here, over here. Hey, how's your new partner? Oh, great. That's something you never have. Yeah, what? Skirts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's good to see you, Hap. Shh. Don't mention my name. I'm here on a very secret mission. I know. You know? Sure. I sent a telegram. Oh, and I thought this was going to be something patriotic. It is. Yeah? Look, yeah, look. Now, we're in a spot. See, we're putting on a show tonight, and we need you. I've been working with Dogface. Wait, Chick, I, I know from Blackface, but I don't know from Dogface. Oh. Well, this is Dogface Dolan. Are you sure? It's only a nickname. My folks never christened me that. What'd they call you? Dogface. Now, look, Hap. The big wheel of this camp is General Timmons, and he doesn't like soldier shows. But our colonel has finally talked him into seeing this show. Now, we've got to sell him. You and I, Hap, have got to sell him this show. It's got to be great. Or no more shows. If it's great, then plenty of entertainment for the boys and an extra stripe for Chick. Now, the first thing we have to do is get you a uniform. Oh, I got one. Right in here, and it's a real do. Do you want to get us all landed in the clink? Oh, don't be silly. This is a trick suit I use in my new act. We'll see it in a minute. You can put it on in there. Well, why can't I change backstage? Because you're not G.I. This is an all-army show. So? So you're being in it as a top military secret. You're not even supposed to be on the post. Forget your Hap Smith. You're dog-faced Dolan. Oh, I'm Smith out here, and I'm Dolan in there. 
And if they find out that Smith ain't Dolan, my fellas. Okay, Hap. I never thought you'd let your old buddy down. But, but, well, what if I get caught? Ain't this illegal? I'm surprised at you, Hap. Didn't you once say you'd cut your arm off up to here for me? Up to here, yeah. Up to here, no. Besides, I have an important spot in the Broadway show coming up. I can't take no chances. And how about me? I'm in charge of entertainment in this outfit. Wouldn't you like to see your old buddy with an extra stripe? Of course I would. I knew you'd do it, pal. We can't miss. Now, you go ahead, put on your uniform, and we'll see you at the main gate. Uh -huh. Good luck, dog face. Who you calling dog face? You. Oh, oh, dog. <laughs> Listen to me. After you get through the gate, you can't miss the main auditorium. Well, why don't you go with me? I can't. I have to round up the boys for a quick rehearsal. I'll see you there. Then why don't you go with me? Because you got my pass, and hang on to it. It's my lifeline. Now, as soon as the show is over, we'll meet you here. Got it? Yeah. Show that to him. Hey, soldier. Come here. Let me see your pass. Why, but you're inquisitive. You didn't think I had one, huh? Well, there it is, Smarty. Ha, ha, and ho. Hey, Welks. Yeah? If I saw what I think I saw, I need a psycho test. Oh. Maybe we'll bunk into each other again sometime. Didn't you forget something? I don't think so. A little matter of a salute and say sir to an officer. Watch it. Oh, 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 of course, sir. Yes, sir. Morning, sir. Details will report to the orderly room at 0700. Hey. Hello, sir. Just hey, soldier. Let's go. Yes, sir. Do I look like a commissioned officer? Oh, yes, sir. What kind of a goon are you? I'm a sergeant. I don't rate a salute. Yes, sir. And I don't rate no sir. Yes. You're a disgrace to the outfit. Look at that uniform. It has more wrinkles than an unfolded parachute. Straighten it out. Why don't you take better care of your issue? It's falling apart. Well, you see, it was made that way, sir. The quartermaster corps issued that uniform in good condition. Keep it that way. Well, let me explain, sir. Explain what? That this pocket is made to fall off, and these buttons are supposed to be loose? Well, now I'm all dressed for the summer. Pull up those pants. Where did a yard bird like you ever manage to pick up those fancy medals? In a pawn shop? Uh, oh, no, sir. Stop that, sir. There's one I've never seen. What is it? Oh, nothing, nothing. What's that for? Slow fire. And this? Rapid fire, but please don't... And this? Extinguish fire. Extinguish fire? Oh, 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 oh. Let me at the police right now. Easy, 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 sir. Easy, sir. Hey, Chick, he thinks I'm a regular soldier. Tell him I'm not. Tell him the truth. Of course I'll tell him the truth. You see, Sarge, this fellow doesn't ordinarily look like this. Why, well, he's one of the neatest men in his outfit. He's only wearing a trick uniform for our show tonight. It is, huh? Well, why doesn't he say so? Trying to rip me? Well, no, he's a little upset. You know how this amateur talent is. Here! Amateur talent? I ask you, Sergeant, is this amateurish? What a rogue and peasant slave am I. Is it not monstrous that the player here... Is it not... Knock it off! Uh... Acting. Theatricals. <laughs> what an army. I remember in the old days when the army wanted to raise your morale. They'd issue you a pass and you'd... Sergeant. 
careful and we'll have to wash out your mind with soap. Get him out of my sight! Now, relax, watch your blood pressure. Yeah, How about a cigar? Side. Have a cigarette. <laughs> That's him there, Captain. General Timmons. Wonder what would make him laugh. Blood. Well, it was nice being in a show. Look, you stay here. I go on first. The parachute jump, the parachute jump. It's thrilling to do a dance that's new. The parachute jump. When the music begins to rise, then you begin to glide. Bouncing from side to side, the parachute jump. You leap into space, smile on your face. Well, what do you know down there below? The world is in play. Hold it steady so you won't slip. Had a boy, let her rip. Then you begin to dip the parachute jump. You dance, and while you dance, angels are singing songs from high in the blue. You dance, oh, how you dance. Suddenly heaven's doors are open to you. You sway, and as you sway, all of your dreams, it seems, are coming true. You work into a spin. Love in the spin you're in when you do, you do. Parachute jump, the parachute jump. Drop and you drop, then pop, you stop and land with a bump. If you really would like to fly, be like a bird on high. Take my advice and try the parachute jump. The parachute jump. The parachute jump, 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 jump. jump. <laughs>
Michelle. You were great, Hannah. I know, Chick. We worked together tonight just like we did in the old days. And I sure hope you make Sergeant now. Me too. Holy mackerel, I better hurry. I'll miss the last train. Oh, don't worry, Hap. Dogface will have a cab waiting for you at the gate. Oh, swell. Well, so long, fellas. So long. Yeah. It was sure nice knowing all of you. And, and give my regards to the general. Yeah. Yes, that is. At ease, man. Who is uh, Corporal Allen? I am, sir. I want to congratulate you, Corporal. You and the rest of your cast have turned out a most successful show. Thank you, sir. And where is Private Dolan? Well, uh, I don't believe Private Dolan's on stage, sir. The last I saw of him, he was on his way off the post. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, sir. I wanted to congratulate him personally. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Oh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> well, Dolan, it appears you're as much a clown off the stage as you are on. Huh? Yeah. Corporal? Yes, sir. Tonight's show has convinced me that Colonel Braden is right. These shows mean a lot to the men. Now, keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Oh, this show pleased the men in any army camp, sir. You know, in show business, shows go from town to town. Say, that's a brilliant idea, Dolan. Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Detach this unit to tour the other army camps in our area. Yes, sir. There may have to be a few minor changes made, sir. Uh, oh, don't be silly, Chick. The show could play just like you put it on. What would you want to make changes for? He's right. It's perfect as is. Don't change a thing. Now, that's in order. Yes, sir. And since I'll be traveling around myself, I'll see it several times. Congratulations again, Corporal. I'll be seeing you, Dolan. Oh, thank you, General. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you should use that routine in the show. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could use that in the show, huh, Chick? <laughs> Well, any time the Army wants me to help out again, sir, don't hesitate to call on me. I won't. Then shut! Hey, he's a nice man. <clears throat> uh, well, uh, let me hear from you guys. Uh, drop me a postcard sometime. Now you've done it, you and your big mouth. The men in the other camps will like this show. Chick, what do you want to make changes for? I was only trying to get you in good. You know what you've done? You've cooked us all, including yourself. I have. You were supposed to open on Broadway, weren't you? Well, your season just closed. Oh, no! This show goes on tour as is. Oh, no! And you go with it, Private Dolan. That's an order. Oh, no! Oh, yes! Oh! oh come on, fellas, this is blackmail. This is kidnapping. This is self-protection. If I let you go now, the whole story will get out and we'll all end up in a who's job. If you guys don't let me go, I'll call an officer and tell them the whole story. I I'll scream. <laughs> what happens if I do? I'm glad you asked that. Evans, uh, what's the penalty for uh, wearing a uniform under false pretenses? Oh, they, they put you in jail for six months. Well, that's not so tough. And then they take you out and shoot you. Because you wore a uniform to sneak into an army camp. And that comes under the heading of espionage. You're a spy, see? Uh, espionage? They shoot spies, don't they? Naturally. But usually the first volley of shots does the trick. They don't hit a vital spot. They shoot until they do. And you know that old motto, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try, and try again. Yeah, and I know. I wonder, uh, are they supposed to shoot for the head or the heart? Oh, the heart. That's so they don't bleed so much. Oh. Oh, all right, fellas, if the execution is over, can I go to bed? I don't feel so good. All right, come on. Hey, at ease, men. This is Sergeant McCluskey. He'll be in charge of this unit while it's on tour. I've given him full instructions. Carry on, Sergeant. Yes, sir. All right, men, fall on the foot of your bunks. When you men volunteer for the paratroops, you knew you were entering the toughest branch of the service. The general has okayed the show, but he wants your training kept up. Now, I know how it is when you get a new sergeant. You don't know what to expect, and it upsets you. Well, let me put your minds at ease. Just to let you know a little more about me, I'm a louse! Now turn in because tomorrow's gonna be a very busy day. Sergeant. Yes? Aren't you gonna say goodnight? I'll do that when I come back to tuck you in. All righty, because it wouldn't be very nice of you to go to bed mad at us. Save the comedy for the paying customers. 
Well, if you don't like it, break me. Make me a civilian. Turn it in! Uh... Boy, what a break. A new sergeant. And he thinks you're Dolan. Well, if he thinks he's Dolan, what does that make me? Now, look, you have to lay low until the general sees this show again. And you take his bunk, dog face. Oh, fine. It ain't bad enough. I gotta give him my name. Now I gotta give him my bunk, too. Pipe down in there. Where am I gonna sleep? Oh, you can have your bed. I'll sleep outside. The fresh air will give me a lift. Oh, nice try, kid, but you stay here. What's the matter? Glad to come in there and shut you guys up? Now look, we have to turn in. Take off your clothes. Here! Here in front of all these fellows? Take them off. Well, I'll take them off my own way. I happen to like privacy. Here, you'll have to get out of here. Go on, run along. Outside, shoot. Come on, hurry. Some people are more modest than others. <laughs> okay, now that you're all undressed, turn in! Ah. Hey, Here's the key to the boiler room. Now go hide yourself. Hey, there's, there's no window in there. If I can't breathe, I'll die. Good, then there'll only be one Dolan. Yeah. Oh, go on, beat it. Ah, oh, Chick, I'm scared. Cheer up, we're all in the same boat. Yeah, but why does it have to leak right under my seat? No, go to bed. I don't want to. Why not? I'm not going to bed till that sergeant comes back and tucks me in like he promised. I'll tuck you in. Hit it for ten. What do you mean? I said hit it for ten push-ups. For what? for being naughty. I wasn't naughty, and I don't have to do it anyhow. You don't? No, because I don't know how to do it. And, and if you want me to do it? Yes. Well, you'll have to show me how to do it. Well, come here, and I'll show you. Should I go with him? I think it'd be nice. Go ahead. All righty, bye. Bye. All right, go ahead. One, two, three. You do it. All right, how many did you do? Three. Four, five, no. Come on. 
Everybody out of bed. Got a big day's work ahead of us. Come on. Hey, Kelsey, shake that guy. He'll never get to be sergeant that way. Come on now, you bunch of debutantes. This ain't the Plaza Hotel. Here we go. Come on. Everybody, up. A oh, wise guy, huh? A real smart guy. You heard me. Everybody up. Come on. Let's go. Last one out to second lieutenant. Come on, children. Nap time is over. Time for crackers and milk. You down there, up. On your feet. Rise and shine. Well, Mr. Dolan, you left the 5.30 call. What, are you one of these tough corporals or something? No, I'm one of those tough sergeants. What about it? Oh, nothing. I'm one of those scared privates. Okay, you guys. This is still the Army. You have exactly four minutes and 35 seconds for roll call. That means uniform C. Now hurry up and get dressed. We gotta go outside. Every man has to answer roll call to show that he's here. But the man just saw us. You mean we have to go outside to tell the man we're here when he knows we're here? That's silly. No, that's the army. Now get in your jump boots and fatigue. Take a little time, but I'll knock it out of you. Now get back in line. Uh, you're slipping, Corporal Allen. I remember you when you were one of the ten best dressed men in America. I'm sorry, sorry. I know, trying to grab a little extra should I. But your sidekick here was right on the ball. Next time, try to shape up the way he did. And that goes for the rest of you men. Ball in. I said fall in! Okay, okay, but where's the hole? All right, funny man, get a shovel and dig one! At ease, men. We got riggers to pack parachutes. At the same time, every man has to learn to pack a chute himself. So even if you've done this a hundred times before, today you're gonna do it again. Okay, start packing! Make believe you're packing and I'll fix it for you when I'm through with mine. Now hurry up. Hurry up, 
Get them shoots falling. Remember, would you jump the chute you're folding? You may have to. Dolan, finished already? Uh, yes, yes, sir. Huh? This I gotta see. Not bad at all. Nice work, Corporal. All shoots falling? Uh, yes, sir. All except that one under Chick's table. Chick, show that one to the sergeant. Well, Corporal, what's that shoot doing under your table? I put it there, Sarge. Can't fold a shoot so you hide it and let someone else do it for you. Well, I don't know what kind of pull got you them stripes. But I don't know what kind of pull is going to take him away from you. But, uh, no, no, Sarge, that's my shoot. Don't try taking up for your buddy and don't go with me. I'm sorry, Chick. What are you sorry about? You've done the right thing. What? At ease, men. It's been decided to send you on tour immediately. I want you to go back to the barracks and get ready to move out. In 45 minutes, you'll march over the auditorium, load your equipment on trucks, and catch the train for Camp Crutcher. That's all, Sergeant. All right, men, turn in those shoots and start packing. Uh, Sarge, can I help you? You know, I'm beginning to like you. Yeah? Is that good? Yeah, and I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. What? I'm not half as tough as I sound. You're not? Nah, it's just something that comes over me. Sometimes I think I'm my own worst enemy. No, you're not, Sarge. Not as long as I'm alive. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, buddy, if you think you can pull that on me, you're per perfectly welcome. Yeah, yes, sir, Lieutenant. Uh, I I'm sorry, sir. Go right ahead. Help yourself, sir. Hi, fellas. Hi. Hi. Having a big time, huh? Yep. Don't let him use too much cream. He's got to dry. Ha, 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 ha. All right, Ugh. thank you. Just a minute, son. How long have you been in the Army? Well, I'm not exactly in... What? Uh, long enough to know better, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Now, if you'll excuse me. Just a minute, young man. You're a paratrooper now. And discipline and military courtesy mean more than they ever did. Yeah, I know that, sir. Yes, I'm sorry, sir. And, and I'll watch it, sir. And the next time... There won't be any next time, do you understand? Oh, I do, sir. Yes, sir. That's better. Th th thank That's you, better. sir. All right, Lieutenant. As you were. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant. At ease. Yes, sir. At ease. Yes, sir. Wise guy. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Betsy. This is ha happy to hear from me. I have to be very careful. A captain just walked in. Uh, this is Dolan. Uh, Dork Face Dolan. Where did I ever meet you before? You know, I'm a friend of Hap Smith's. Hap? Where are you? And what do you mean calling me in the middle of the night? Middle of the night? It's five after seven. Rise and shine. What's this all about? I, I can't tell you now, Betsy. I can't tell you now, but all I can tell you is I can't make that appointment with Earl White. You listen to me, Hap Smith. You either be at Earl White's office at 11.30 sharp, or, or this is the end of the act. Oh, is that so? Well, you listen to me, young lady. I'm getting pretty sick and tired of your tantrums, and from now on, I'm gonna be the boss around here, you understand? And furthermore... Your party has been disconnected, sir. You keep out of this. And get this straight. You can't make a fool out of me. Just what do you think I am anyway? I'm sorry, sir, but we're not allowed to give out that information. That is, man. Kid just smoked. 9.15. The schedule says 9.15.
instruction in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And train or no train, we're gonna keep on schedule. Williams. Now, you're sneaking up on an enemy sentry in the dark. Where would you knife him? Under the ribs. And before I take the knife out, I'd give it a twist so it wouldn't get stuck. That's wrong. Evans. How would you do it? Well, I... Ah. Uh. Like this. That's wrong. You could hear him gurgle 200 yards away. Uh-oh. Dolan. Now, the correct method is a downstroke between the shoulder blades and the back. Oh, I, I, I. Sarge. Yes? That's very interesting. I'm glad you like it. Dolan, where are you going? Oh, it's, sometimes I don't hear so good. No alibis, Dolan. Supposing you were disarmed and some guy was ready to put his bayonet in your gut. Supposing he was coming at you like this, what would you do? Well, I'd probably faint. That's right. You'd faint him out of position. Supposing that failed, how would you parry the thrust and take away his rifle? Well... That was absolutely perfect, Dolan. Absolutely perfect. Cut in. Psst. Psst. Hey, Jim. What? I'm hungry. Oh, wait a minute, will you? Will you wait? Wait a minute. I'm so weak now, I can hardly write. Give me something to eat. Shh. There you are, gentlemen. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Leave some for the others. What do you mean, others? Ain't I one of the others? I'm hungry. You'll eat last. Uh. How come you're taking a little fella's sandwich? This isn't his. This belongs to everybody. You mind? No. Let him have it. Do you mind if I have one? No, not at all. Look, Dolan, if you don't want me to have a sandwich, say so. Don't try to be funny. I'm not trying to be funny. Honest. As soon as we have something to eat, we'll do a little training. Nothing like keeping a fella in shape. Two hands, one for each head. You know, boy, you're getting funnier to me all the time. <laughs> What's that? We used to belong to Beaver Patrol, and that was our pack call. Want to join? Oh! 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 before the next train leaves for Camp Crutcher. Corporal Allen, I gotta make out my report. I'm putting you in charge until I get back. Okay, Sarge. You can send somebody to Lindy's for coffee and sandwiches, but nobody else leaves this spot, understand? I got you. You better, because I'm making you responsible. Uh, I, I can go for the sandwiches, Chick. No, let me. I don't mind. No, I'll go get it. Will you wait a minute? I think I ought to go get Wait a minute, he said. He wants I should go for the sandwiches. No, not you. You're staying with me. Why can't he go? Why can't I go? 
Well, I thought maybe he'd stay and keep me company. He's my buddy. Well, if I'm his buddy, I should go for the sandwiches, huh? Go ahead, get sandwiches. Besides... When I give an order, it's an order. Get gone. Uh, thank you, Sarge. Thank you very much. Would you like uh, mustard or ketchup? Uh, keep your eye on my duffel bag, will you, Chick? I won't be back. I mean, I'll be back. <laughs> uh, thank you, Sarge. Now, why do you always pick on the little fella? In my book, he's the only one I trust outside these station gates. And I know men. He knows men. Yes, it's 11.35. Better late than never. <sighs> Why didn't you tell me over the phone? I couldn't tell you then, but I'll explain oh, now. Oh, you don't have to. Oh, Hap, I think it's just wonderful. I don't want to interrupt this touching scene. But I'd like to know which Sam is representing you, Gilmore or Uncle? Well, Uncle, of course. He's a paratrooper, see? And when did you take your basic training? And when did your bad ear get well? And how come you're not quarantined? I didn't take any basic training, and I didn't get quarantined. I suppose all they did was to slap a uniform on you and say, OK, you're a soldier. That's exactly... Now, stay here, Mr. White. I don't like your tone. And I don't like what's going on here. But, Mr. White... Hold up those Hap Smith contracts, Miss Brady. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I'm going to be in the show. Oh, no, you're not. I refuse to let you be a deserter. I'm not going to be a deserter. Everybody's talking so fast, I'm in a tizzy. Now, if you just be quiet for a minute, maybe I can explain. Yeah. I thought I'd find you here. Oh, well, Chick, what are you doing in town? I'm doing his booking for the time being. Now, come on, we'll miss our train. Uh -huh. Just a minute. You can at least let him say goodbye. I don't want to say goodbye. Don't you know when you leave a lady, it's polite to say goodbye? And when you meet a lady, it's customary to say, hello, I'm Chick Allen. Hello, I'm Betsy Carver. I've heard a lot about you, Chick, and well, I'm awfully glad that you and Hap are in the same outfit. So am I. I don't know what we'd do without good old Hap. Hello, I became a paratrooper in one easy lesson. You will look after him, won't you? Won't let him out of my sight for a minute. He's like a brother to me. I'd like to write to his sister, let her know how he's doing. In fact, after General Timmons sees half of Camp Crutcher, you two may be able to work in White's show after all. Do you think you could get him a leave of absence? I'll use my influence. Meanwhile, you and I will have to keep in touch with each other. Of course. Well, I'll go tell Mr. White. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Hap. I told you I don't want to say goodbye. And I don't want to go back to camp. And I don't want any part of Army life. Hap, you don't know what you're saying. When you talk like that, you sound like you didn't belong in that uniform. That's exactly what I'm trying to tell you! Come on, Hap. There's a lot of people waiting to talk to you. Well, I don't want to talk to them. I hate people! Tennessee. Uh -huh. There's one thing they've got in common, they want no part of me. No. Oh, a gal here on earth is more trouble than she's worth, so I'll leave them all behind, yes sirree. Yes sirree, gonna fly, fly away, fly away, over the mountain, over the mountain. Gonna fly, fly away, fly over the sea. Gonna keep flying around, flying around. Me. You'll find me playing leapfrog with the man up in the moon. Have myself a time each evening, sleep each day to noon. And the bluebirds, I'll bet, let me sing in their quartet. And we'll harmonize the barber shop too. Gonna fly, go away, fly away, over the mountain. Go the mountain. Gonna fly, fly away, fly, fly over the sea. Keep flying around, flying and around, never, ever come down, cause the big blue sky is the place for me. Gonna hop with the angels, who would want a better crown? Gonna dance all over heaven, and boy, will I be proud. Gonna play peekaboo with the stars up in the blue, and when I get tired, I'll rest on a cloud. 
gonna fly away, fly away, fly away, fly away, fly away over the mountain, fly away, fly away over the sea. Gonna keep flying around and never, never come down, cause the big blue sky is the place I wanna be. unable to see the show, so I shall continue to remain in hiding. Hey, I'm writing a letter to Betsy tonight. Want me to say hello for you? No, say goodbye for me to you. Oh, now look, Half, when we were working together, you never wanted to quit after every show, did you? No. Well, we're still doing our act together, only we're using different wardrobe. You're giving a great show. Oh, thank you so much, sir. So glad you liked it, sir, because you see, tonight, I gave me farewell performance. No, don't try and stop me, sir. I should like to make me final exit while the applause is still ringing in my ears. Now, Don't say a word, sir. Just close your eyes, and when you open them, I shall be gone. No, no. Oh, yes. Can't. Why? Military security. Can't hear you. Don't want to. Leaving. Staying. Recover, next man. Right, bend your knees, look straight ahead. Lower your hands on the door. Ready up, pull, bring them out. One thousand, two thousand, your three thousand. Together. Bring your hands around the end of the reserve, round the end, round the end of the reserve. Chin on your chest, that's the way. Recover. Thank you. Men, as you know, this tower is designed to teach you the proper body position when exiting from the aircraft and to give you the feel of the opening shock of the parachute. Now, I know you guys have done this before, so be sure you do it right, because I'll be waiting for you at the other end of the ride. Ah, I don't like it. I want to go back down. Nah, nah, there's only one way down. This way. Uh, uh. This tower's to get you guys used to a jerk. A real big jerk. Just remember, darling, you've been given a little rubber ball. Well, it ain't to play catch with, it's to test your coordination. Just remember, you gotta hold on to it all through your fall. Cause if you drop it, you gotta do the whole thing over again. Uh. Rest of the men, normal procedure. All right, darling. I want to see that ball in your hand when you get down here. My heart ain't in it. It's up here. Sarge, we better have the men sound off their names. Hold it! Well, that's me. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Look out! Chick! Chick! Ah! 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 Oh! You! Come here! Huh? What's the matter? Didn't you hear me say hold it? Huh? I mean, sure. Oh, I thought you said Dolan! You'll have to do it all over again. Do it all over? Yeah, you dropped the ball. No, I didn't, Sarge, so see? Uh, you're, uh, you're clowning around, but you come through like a trooper. Oh, yeah, I've been a trooper all my life. See, this ball is stuck to my hand like it was glued. Uh, you don't have to do it over again. Oh, thanks a lot, Sarge. Thank you. Thanks, Sergeant. Come on now. 
I'm not gonna do that. Okay. If it'll make you any happier, you don't have to jump. I don't have to jump? You're not kidding me? I guarantee it. After all, I'm your chum. My friend. Your pal. I don't have to jump. Ha, ha, ha. I don't have to jump. Ha, ha. <laughs> right, face. At ease. Okay, Alan, you take arm three. Dolan, you come with me. Uh, uh, hello? Uh, what are you fellas fussing around about? <laughs> oh, no, you don't. I mean, I can't. Chick said I didn't have to jump. That's right. You don't have to jump. This just takes you up, then drops you. Oh, fine. <laughs> then I don't have to jump. <laughs> That's nice. See, I don't have to jump. This thing just takes me up and drops me! Jack! Put me down! I'm scared! Jack! Ha, ha, ha! Don't let you're a card. Well, what goes up must come down. Jack! It's no I! Jack! You said I didn't have to jump! Ma! Yeah. I'm a corporal. And I didn't ask Sergeant McCluskey to like me either. And I certainly didn't ask him to go out and get me this 48 hour pass. 48 hour pass? Oh, you can't use that. You won't come back. Uh, uh, I'll say hello to Betsy for you. All right, men, cover the exits. Cover the exits. You aren't going anyplace. Sit down. Wait a minute. I'm a corporal, remember? And a private's not supposed to tell a corporal what to do. Okay, shake that out. 
Any time a patient's to be operated on, don't leave him in the hall. But I no heard. arguments. Get him to the operating room. No visitors. Out. Yes, yes sir. I just stopped in for a band-aid. You'll miss your train if you don't hurry. Come on, I'll give you a lift to the station. Oh, fine. Thanks, Sarge, because I wouldn't want to miss my train. These fellows don't have their hats. Go get your hats. Okay, Sarge. Yes, Sarge. Shall we go? <laughs> You got a match? Hello, Chick. I've been looking all over for you. Where do you keep disappearing to? Look how far I had to come this time to find you. Oh, sure, sure. You know, if I hadn't won myself a pass in a fast crap game, you wouldn't have found me at all. And that would have been more than I could bear. Uh, how did you find me so fast? I knew you'd run right straight to Betsy. Well, oh, sure, but I was going to tell her all about you, Chick. Oh, that's fine. Now, when you're through doing this, you and I will go back to camp together. And in the meantime, I won't let you out of my sight for one minute. Because I don't trust you. Now, come on. Where we going? Serviceman Center. What are we going there for? That's where Betsy is. She runs the show there. Uh, Chick, you know, I don't want to spoil it for you two kids. I mean, well, you know, three is a crowd. I thought maybe I could meet you someplace later. Like maybe Denver. Okay? I'll see you. Did you have a nice trip? Why didn't you write? I was busy. Huh? Huh? Soldier? Pretty good outfit. What's the matter? You having trouble? A tough beard. Well, maybe you're using the wrong kind of a razor. This is the only kind. Here, I'll show you. I've been using this razor for 23 years. For the fastest, cleanest, smoothest shave, you can't beat it. Now the neck. Lift the head. Ain't I seen you somewhere before? <laughs> I don't think so, Sergeant. You've got the kind of a face a guy can't forget. Wait a minute. The train. The face on the train. Who are you? Come on, who are you? What's your name, soldier? My name is... I can't remember. Oh, no? Well, maybe G2 will refresh your memory. Take charge, you two. He's going to the guardhouse. Right, Sarge. Right, Sarge. Come along, you. Wait a minute! What's this? Oh, those are just notes from my book. Oh, yeah? Having learned all there was to know about the 105 millimeter gun, I had myself transferred to the pirate troops. This guy's a spy. I'm no spy, Sarge. I'm don't. 
I don't remember a thing. You will when we get through with you. Come on! We gotta locate Chicken. Tell him right away. Let's go! Come on, you dirty spy. I'm no spy. I don't know anything about it. Where were you born? Nebraska. What part? All of me. Your age? 24. Your name? Don't... Don't remember. Yes, Leo Vashpichka? Russian Sea? Where are you from, Anamnika? Don't throw away the scarf, Coupon. You may be the lucky winner. I know a dream when I see one. But I'm a dreamer. Just you, Hap, and me. Three of us? Three of us. Partners all the way. And everything? Except when we say goodnight, then it's just the two of us. You and me. Oh, that'll be much better. <clears throat> what are you in for? You don't have to talk if you don't want to. Well, wasn't there either. Did you try a hold of hands bar? Yeah. Dirty Frankies? Yeah. The store club? Yeah. Now look, we gotta find him before he brings Hap back. There's still only room for one dog faced Dola. Yeah, you're right. Hey, you there. Turn down that radio. Radio? What's that? Attention, everybody. Hey, Kelsey, look who's on TV. Tonight, we have two young paratroopers that are going to entertain us. So let's give them a big hand. Serviceman Center. Keep a little dream handy. Tell me why and I'll try. For melancholy day. Listen, Arabella, dream about another fella. Life is ice cream and candy. Chocolate fella or vanilla. Or dreamer. So they say. I know good at dreams. I just fall asleep at dreams. When a great cloud. <laughs> keep his sun shining. They sing it now. You can sing that dream pretty song. Sterling. Sterling. it now. Let's okay. hear it. So keep that little. Dream handy. You better had her. I'll be mad. And dream your cares away. Like Rip Van Winkle. And dream your cares away. Say nighty nighty. Dream your cares away. It's time for bed now. And dream your cares away. <laughs> and dream your cares away. Oh, you were wonderful, both of you. I thought you said both of us. Oh. Oh, thanks a heap. Uh, which one of you is Private Allen? Hi. There's a telephone call for you. They say it's very important. Oh, thanks. Hey, excuse me. I think you're just terribly amusing. Uh-oh. You're cute. Mm, you're not so bad yourself. <laughs> I hope you're the lucky winner tonight. Mmm. 1777. 
What a perfectly darling little old number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll think of something. Excuse me, but I've got to talk to Hap right away. Come on, man. Oh! They got dog face. They, they, they got dog face. Now listen, don't get excited. It's really very simple. First thing you do is get out of this uniform, beat it, get lost. Forget the whole thing ever happened, you understand? Now listen to me. If I'm lucky, yeah. maybe they'll only give me 30 or 40 years in Alcatraz. 30 or 40 years? Hap. Huh? This is it. Jake, this is what? This is it. Oh, well, Chick, uh, I, I only have one thing to say. What is it, pal? Bye! Each week, our sponsors donate their products to some lucky person in the service. So look closely at your stubs, and you may be the fortunate winner. Julie? The lucky ticket tonight is 17... 1777. The winner! Here he is! I didn't go tonight! Oh, I know you did! Well, it's very confusing, sir. His fingerprints check with the records. And Lieutenant Green knows him as Private Dolan, a regular member of the company. Well, then why the confusion? Sergeant McCluskey insists he never saw the man before, except possibly for a brief instant on the train. Uh, perhaps we'd better have a talk with the other Dolan. Sir, this report just came in. Gentlemen, here's what we've been waiting for. This command will move tomorrow for combined maneuvers under the Corps Command. Yes, sir. Put Dolan under heavy guard. I'm afraid we'll have to let his case wait. Right. We're going to beat General Bond if it's the last thing we ever do. Ted, send down the word to all commands. And order all leaves and passes canceled immediately. Right, sir. Sir. And just the same, for any hour of the day or night, direct from the salons of Paris, this exquisite sheer silk negligee. <laughs> Wrap it up, I'll take it. And now, best of all the... I'm sorry to interrupt, but this is important. Oh, surely. Attention all men of the Airborne Division. Return immediately. All passes and furloughs are hereby canceled. By order of Brigadier General W.W. W. Timmons, commanding. Uh-oh. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. oh, no, you don't. The last prize is the best of all. Oh, all right, all right, what is it? Through the courtesy of Jack Saper and Company, and in cooperation with the New York City Police Department, a police escort to the train that takes you right back to camp. Left, face, right. forward, march. <laughs> It's maneuvers, all right. Yeah, but I don't want Oh, but it's okay. We'll get you lost somehow. Uh, what are we gonna do? There's nothing to it. You get on a plane, you go up 20,000 feet, jump out, and the chute opens automatically. Yeah, what if it doesn't open? Then you pull your reserve parachute. Well, what if that doesn't open? Well, we haven't had a complaint yet. Uh -huh. From a guy whose chute didn't open? <laughs> oh. Start loading into your trucks. Okay, Chick. I'll be brave about it. I I I'll go up in the plane. Atta boy. But I won't jump. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, no, I won't. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, no, I won't. Ow! Oh! No. Oh. oh, I hurt my ankle. What's the matter, Dolan? Oh, I hurt my ankle. <laughs> That's too bad. But I'll jump just the same, Sarge. No, you won't. Uh, I'm not going to take the chance of anything happening to one of my best men. Oh, thank you, Sarge. I'll tell you what. You go over to the DZ and meet the recovery detail and help him bring the chutes back. That is, if the ankle doesn't feel too badly. Oh, don't worry about me, Sarge. 
I'll make it all right. Good. I told you I wouldn't have to jump. Sarge! Sarge! Yeah? Uh, but you will let me jump tomorrow. We'll see. It all depends on how the ankle is. Oh, thank you, Sarge. Let him go. The farther away he is from McCluskey in the army, the better off he is. Yeah, but he's going toward the enemy lines. They'll take him prisoner. Look, with his brains, it'll just be a short time before he's captured. <laughs> Has he had the extensive training we've had? Nah. <laughs> Doesn't know the first thing about combat, camouflage, or patrol. <laughs> How could he? will grab that poor kid the first time he turns around. <laughs> uh. Well, that was a short battle. Move on, boys. Move on. Troopers. What are you doing here? I'm a war correspondent for the Weehawk and Daily Messenger. What do you think I'm doing here? Get in there with the others. Take these men to the stockade. You and you come with me. All right, you girls. Let's go. Come on, move out. Move out. Get along there with you. Hey, soldier, can't you let me go? I won't go back to my side. Are you crazy? Or do you think I am? 
Oh, go ahead, let the kid go. I won't tell. Get going and put your hands on your heads. Oh, Jack, what am I going to oh, do? Oh, let me go, oh. will you? Oh, here's your gun. Hey, that was quick work, Corporal. Oh, thank you. What do we do with this gun? Uh, uh, well, tie him up and do away with him. And anything you say, Corporal. Thank you. Now's your chance to take off. Huh? Take off. Oh, yeah. Well, which way is our side? That way. Well, I'm going this way. No, Corporal. It's no good if you're captured by the enemy. Listen, these paratroops know how to operate behind enemy lines. We better stick with this guy or we're dead pigeons. That might be all right with you guys, but we're heading down that road. That's what you think, Private. Unless you've got a lot more rank in your show and you better come with us. Yeah, but he's not even a... Not even what? <laughs> nothing. Uh, he, he didn't say nothing. That's better. Let's go. And remember, he's in charge. Uh, I'm in charge. Uh, okay, this way, man. Onward. You know, I think we built ourselves a monster. Well, I think you're right. General Bond, sir. Word has been received that our tank battalion is approaching the Rock River. Head of Collins should be at the bridge by 11.50, sir. That's what I call perfect timing. Before the day's over, we'll have old man Timmons and his paratroops run right out of the state. Yes, sir. much better time if we had that car. How are you going to get it? Ha ha. You think I'm going to tell you? The purpose of these maneuvers is to make you men think for yourselves. How would you get it? Go behind the tent, create a diversion, then you get the jeep. You took the words right out of my mouth. Go ahead, create a diversion. Go ahead. Call my driver. I'm going to join Colonel Jackson at Rock River Bridge. I want to be with the column when they surprised him. Yes, sir. Driver. grenades were placed, they wrecked this bridge. Your tank column can't cross, General. The bridge has been destroyed by Timmons' paratroops. Now, see here. I can't listen to you, General. Theoretically, you have been blown up, too. Mm. Gee, I'm sorry, General. Ah. Spoils, boy! Spoils, boy! Gee, he's just saw a loser. I'll tell him. He's my father. Father? I blow up a bridge with a grenade that don't go off. Ah! 
Blowing up the bridge won the victory for General Timmons' forces, so you men are being released. Hooray! Now what? I caught him going the wrong way. Well, he didn't know maneuvers were over. I didn't know. He was still looking for the enemy. Oh, he didn't know. He was lost. And I suppose he thought he'd find them at the railroad station. The what? Bench hit! At ease. The soldier who took General Bond's jeep here. Me? General Timmons wants to see you. Uh, this is it. Here's the man you've been looking for, General. So, Captain. Come in, come in, Corporal. So you're the man who stole the car and blew up the bridge. Oh, y yes, sir, but, but I'd like to make a clean breast of things, sir. Y you see, it all, it all started the night of the Army show. Your name is? Well, you know me as Dolan, sir, but my real name is Smith. Hap Smith, and I'm a nightclub entertainer. I remember you. Did you say your name is not Dolan? That's right, sir. Uh, the real Dolan's in the guard house. Do you mean to say you're not in the army at all? Uh, they wouldn't take me, sir, but I can hear very good now. I think my ear popped wh when I took that tower jump. Well, young man, as I see it, you're either going to be a corporal named Smith, whose daring heroism has given me the last laugh on General Bond, or a civilian. Make that condemned prisoner, who's about to eat his last meal before going to the gallows. Now I leave the choice entirely up to you. Which one are you? Let me see. Come on. Well, now that I'm A1, I mean 1A, I'd like to stay with the paratroopers, if it's all right with you, sir. No, I think that can be arranged. After all, in the interest of preserving military secrecy, you should be sworn in as soon as possible, even if we have to shoot you later. Don't be surprised if he comes out a brigadier general. Could be. From one through sixteen, left to right, cut off. Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. On your feet. Hey, Mike. 
doing up there? What are you doing down there? Come down here. What? I said come down here. All right. Let go. Let go! Oh, 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 oh. oh hold on. Ah. Oh, Jack! 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 Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. <laughs> Separated. That's right. <laughs>